I'm BB, and I'm an artist. I like to collect all things. Name it. I got into teapots. And China. Photographs and pictures. It's a certain kind of postcard. Fabric. Almost everything in the world. My name is Peggy, and BB is my mama. We always had a maid. My mom always made sure that the maid was there for her. I was very fortunate in that we always had servants, and they did the dishes and cook and help. They did all the cleaning. Dad adored my mom, absolutely. He gave her everything she ever wanted. I was treated more like a, a queen. My name is Cammie, and I'm BB's daughter. My father worked very hard and made very good money, but we still couldn't keep up. My mother is a very talented woman. She used her skills to have other people do for her. Mama? Yes, come on in. If she didn't get something she wanted, she was screaming and yelling and having a fit. He was murdered with a 12-gauge shotgun right in, in that front hall. I couldn't walk in that room at nighttime at all. But I kept seeing even my mind's eye on the floor. That ruined my life. When Daddy died, all of her personality disorders went out of control. She took out her grief in collecting more and more and more items. It became an obsession with her. This is deplorable. There are dead things in the house. I smell them. It's a fire hazard. It's a safety hazard. There are rats living in the home. She saw a snake in the home. I said, the snakes come in because the rats are living in the home. If my mom does not cooperate, we will have no other option but to put her in a state home. If she's not willing to do what we're asking her to do, then we will have to take a very drastic step. She has to be removed. I'm Dorothy Brenninger, professional organizing expert, and I specialize in hoarding. Well, <laughs> here we are in the heart of it all, right? Kitchen. I'm worried about BB's temper. I've been told that she's gotten angry just recently and started throwing things at her daughters. We're going to make decisions as a team on what we should be keeping, what we should be letting go. This is a family problem. Yeah. OK. Dryer things for the dryer. Well, then why is it in a coffee tin? Because tent? I wanted it in there. OK, dryer things Well, I know dryer. where it is. These are open sprinkles. They've all been opened. And they're, and they're... So? They got glitz on them, don't they? And there's bugs in it. Everything I've been told is all about how she screams, 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 and has BB fits. Well, what the heck? Who's not telling the truth? How are the girls doing? I think they're doing fine, I guess. OK, I'm seeing you rolling your eyes. Close your eyes. Is it because you're tired? I'm Dr. Robin Zazio. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist, and I specialize in OCD and compulsive hoarding. Cammie pulled me aside, expressing concern that BB has been taking pills to calm herself down. What is this? Lo and behold, she opens up this trunk filled with medications. This is really bad, Cammie. This All is not. This is not labeled. That's bad. We need to deal with it and talk with BB about what's going on. You will not heal if you medicate yourself through this. You had some Valium opiates, some Percocet, and some Percodan. 
quaaludes. All these scrapbooks that you took months to make up and you don't have photographs of uh, your family in them. I find photographs of, of your grandchildren on the floor. Oh, that's too bad. It hurts. What is this? It's for scrapbooking for your father. I see my mother's anxiety rising as she's facing reality. And where's or where are pictures of daddy? I have them in the house somewhere. Where are they? I don't know. This was my daddy's hat. We thought she just swept him away out of our lives and out of her life. And when we would come visit her, we could never find anything of daddy's, not anything. She hid everything about him. She tried to erase him out of her life and out of our lives. Mama, look what I found. I cleaned it off, but there were bite marks all over it. It was shocking, the condition of it, and just her attitude about it. Somebody ate it and there were spiders living in it. So every once in a while, a critter comes in the house. It represents the character, the dedication, the patriotism of my father. This is really, really disrespectful, Mama, to the man who did nothing but love you and forgive you. To find it as trash was insulting and painful, beyond disrespectful. If she doesn't validate her daughters, then Bibi's not gonna change. She's gonna ignore her behavior and probably continue to repeat the same patterns. You never got through the grieving process. You buried it and buried it, and that's why we have this hoard, because you buried your grief about daddy with this hoard. You could go shopping, you could go socialize, you could do everything you wanted to do, but you couldn't show respect for daddy. For the first time in my life, I was able to express how I truly felt. I don't find any evidence of daddy. Get off of daddy. No, mama. In until I know why his pictures aren't. Because it hurt to do it. That's why. We got to a point where my sister and I just broke down. There are just too many memories of my father that got buried. If you don't get over this and get rid of your grief, you're gonna start all over again trying to fill that void in your life with possessions. You just wouldn't face that you lost daddy. We lost him too. He didn't walk me down the aisle. That was my dream, that my military dad and his military regalia would walk me down the aisle. I'm so you're doing, sorry. You're doing great, Mama. You're doing great. <laughs> I think that she was able to face her grief. <laughs> it hurt so bad when he died. And face what she had done to our family. I just ask you to please forgive me. We, have, we yeah. already have That's why we're you, here. Mama. And she took responsibility for her actions, and she's never done that before. She made a huge breakthrough. I mean, not just a breakthrough, I mean, a complete change. And in the Navy, we say, I christen you. Crash! Woo! Yay! Yay! Woo! Woo! At this point, she gave her daughters carte blanche to throw away whatever they wanted. Because you had a discussion with your daughters that was dig, dig. paramount shift, that allowed me to do what? Zoom right <laughs> in and get to the clutter, clear it out, and make a house. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, how beautiful. It's clean. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. When I first walked in the hallway, I was overwhelmed with memories. This is where you lost right your dad? Right, right about where I'm standing. In this space, there was that death. And with water running, with plants blooming, is that life? 
Yes. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I just felt it was healing to me. <gasps> oh. I really believe that with the ongoing therapy, that will be a road to recovery for my mother, and she won't go backwards into her old lifestyle of hiding and hoarding. Oh, oh what happened? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. I've gotten an insight into my daughter's pain about their father's going, and I've gotten an insight into the reason that I Hoarded things. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to AE for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.